everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chiara and I run the blog and Instagram Chiara's Atelier and today we're going to discuss bags. My top picks to start a designer collection. Now, I've been collecting these bags for many, many years, many, many, many moons now. So if you can see my dog going crazy, it's because she's also a dog fan. Dog fan? No, bag fan. You're right there, hun. She is rubbing herself on her namesake bag. So let's start with one of these. Let's move it. Any collection should have a satchel, a fun little summery satchel. Now I got this from Chloe many years ago. I want to say four or five years maybe. It was a limited edition and it's very hard to find. So I'm sorry to show you this one, but any type of satchel bag is a really good thing to have. Don't touch the bag please. Um, have in your collection just because a good investment means that you won't have to buy it again. Like I've bought this little satchel bag, I've traveled with it, I've taken it everywhere and it's done a good job. So a satchel bag, in my opinion, for like a summery one is a good investment. Another little one is a fun evening bag. And when I say fun, I mean fun. Look at it. Look how cute it is. Now I got this little Fendi peekaboo. I got this pre-loved. I couldn't, I wouldn't have bought it like <sighs> in the shop because I would have had to sell a kidney or something. And I mean, we can't even fit the kidney in here. So why is it so expensive? But she's cute, but it like just makes a little outfit. You know, it just makes you look fashionable because you can't fit anything in your bag, but you carry the bag anyway, you know? So a little evening bag, but if we want to be a bit more show stopping with our evening bags, I have these Olympia Latan clutch bags um, because I think every girl needs a pretty clutch bag and what's prettier than these? I will wait for you to name some pretty clutch bags. So these are my clutch bags of choice. I'm not a clutch bag person but if I was to wear a clutch bag it would be one of these. Oh, I'm on the hunt for more, I honestly am. Because what I love about these is they are quite the conversation starter. Sorry, can we not give me the bags please? Thank you. Yeah, look, look at these bags. Okay. Another bag that I think that is, I'm just getting comfortable. You know, we're all at home. I'm not in a rush. So I'm just like sitting here with the dog. The dog is having a great time. I'm just chatting to you about bags. I hope you're well, by the way. <laughs> Another bag that I love is this. I remember the slight goose chase I had to go around to get this bag because everyone and their dog wanted one and I remember it was when they just come out with the pink the red the black I wanted the pink but I, I knew I would get more wear out of this and I remember going to the store and they're like we have one I feel like they do this on purpose but anyway they only had one apparently um and I got it it was an impulse purchase uh, but a good one like I have not regretted this purchase I wear it all the time it's so practical because can we not bite our feet, please? Um, it's because it has this little top handle, which I love. You're gonna see a little bit of a theme with some of my favorite bags. I love the top handle, and I like that, that it has the strap, and it has this little back pocket, which I think is useful. You can hide receipts. What have I got in here? <gasps> I've got money. I'm rich. A tenner is gonna buy me a lot of chocolate. Okay, but so many penguins. Okay, I digress. The Pochette Matisse is a good bag. If you're thinking about a Louis Vuitton bag that's not a speedy and not a never fall, this is a good, good, good bag to put your money on. Talking about a good money bag, it's a Lady Dior. In, if I was to collect handbags and a particular style of handbag, it would be a Lady Dior. It has the shoulder strap, which makes it practical. I'm saying practical because this is practical too, but you know what I mean when you want to sing on your shoulder. And it has this ladylike bag, like little top handles. I have a few Lady Dior's now, and I can hand on heart say that this is my favorite, favorite, favorite style of bag ever. So, you know, when we get to go out again and go shopping, maybe I'll treat myself to another one just for being good. Oh, I'm joking, but <laughs> not. Um, but I love Lady Dior's. I think that they are the best first designer bag like I wish this had been my first designer bag because I feel like it's a love affair that started too late um and I might have had more in my collection if I had started early but anyway we have her she's cute and we, she's got some cousins and we're going to get her some more another bag not necessarily this bag but 
this genre of bag which is the Prada nylon bags last summer I got a Prada bucket bag I'll try to insert a photo of it um, in this nylon material for a hen party and I had a lot of holidays that year by the beach and by the pool and stuff and that bag was so good hardy because it has this bit this leather but the rest of the bag is all nylon so this time round, I managed to nab myself the yellow one but it's got this like ruching um, so I think a Prada nylon bag is a good shout because it will last you and it's a good bag that you can just chuck around and not be too precious with. I will link some websites down below that have some pre-loved ones if you want to go check them out that's a little bit cheaper. And also what I love about the even brand new ones of these, they don't break the bank. They're not like Dior, Chanel money, like you don't have to sell any of your organs to buy handbags. Practically... I wouldn't say they're cheap. That's not the word I want to use. They're more affordable than a lot of designer bags. So this is a good shout. A thingy. A thingy. A nylon Prada bag. Then of course, a Chanel bag. Um, they're a good investment. You know, you can sell them if you change your mind. And also, everyone wants a Chanel bag. Um in their collection and I remember this was I kept on saying to myself when I was younger when I get a Chanel bag I will be complete and I remember all the dupes I had at university and oh I lust after this bag and when I got her my life was a little bit complete I know what you're thinking Carrie did you need the rest of the bags no I didn't but you know I have problems um but the one thing I will tell anyone is if you are dreaming of starting a collection of designer bags just save up and wait till you can afford your dream bag. I, I made the mistake a couple of times where I bought something else because I couldn't get to the Chanel bag at the time. Um, and I don't regret any of those purchases because a lot of those purchases I loved. But in the sense that if you if there, it is a Chanel or a Dior or Gucci or whatever you want, just get it. Wait till you can afford and buy that bag so you don't make any mistakes. Um, but yes, a chanel -o is a good -o. Um, and those are the bags that I think that everyone should have in their collection. Um, actually, wait, there's one more. A tote. We love the tote. She's the big mama. Um, I managed to get it with my name on it because, you know, I like my name on things and I'm an only child and I have issues and I like to show that things are mine. Anyway, I bought this bag. It wasn't on a whim. I wish... <laughs> It was quite the debacle to get it, but I did manage to get my hands on it. And it is the best money I've spent because I didn't think I would use this as much. I mean, it's a pretty big bag, as you can see, um, but I've used it, whether it's for gym, life, running around, errands, anything, travel. This has been great because you can just chuck everything in, you know, me and all my, all my personalities and all my emotions can go in here, which has been great. Um... And currently, none of these bags are being used because we're all at home. So I hope everyone is being safe and enjoy this kind of scatterbrained video that I've made today. Um, I hope you're well. Enjoy this video. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what else you'd like to see. And what is your dream bag? Gosh, I don't know if I have a dream bag anymore. Maybe it's an Hermes bag, but ugh, that's a story for another day. I am not kissing anyone's bum to get a bag, you know. Um, but yeah, welcome to the nook of the internet. I hope you had a really nice time in this little nook, as I was saying. My brain is clear. I need to eat, basically, is the moral of this story. Have a wonderful day and take care and stay safe. Bye.